This is the quilt storage room at the National Museum of American History. We have about 423 quilts, unfinished quilt tops, and quilt pieces stored in this area. We try to take good care of the National Collection so Americans can enjoy it for generations to come. Each quilt is folded to fit into a drawer. It has to be measured as we fold to make sure it fits in there so there is only one quilt per drawer so there's nothing rubbing on top of it abrading the surface. The units are kept closed. There's no outdoor light in this room at all, and indoor light is kept to a minimum. We do not handle the quilts a lot. When people take the behind the scenes quilt tour, they have to look at the quilts folded up in the drawers. If we unfolded them every time, it would be a great deal of wear and tear on the quilts. The cotton and linen quilts are cellulose fibers, so they have to be protected from acidity. So on occasion, we have to use acid-free and buffered paper with those to pad them out. If they're for some reason gonna to touch something that's wood, we have to put that between the wood and the quilt. The silk and wool quilts are protein fibers. They have to be protected from high alkalinity. So the wool and silk quilts just get muslin between them and a the surface. Silk quilts, especially from the late 19th century, are a real challenge to store. In the late 19th century, they put chemicals on the silk, which caused it to feel very stiff and heavy. It's called weighted silk. Unfortunately, it makes the silk about 100 times more sensitive to sunlight, and it literally shreds the fabric. In our costume section, it's not at all unusual for them to find a dress from the late 19th century that's starting to shred and they'll find one from the late 18th century that's silk that's in perfect condition. That's because in the late 18th century they did not weight silk. So the weighted silk quilts have what we call inherent vice and you're really fighting mother nature to try and slow down that reaction and about the only way you can do it is to keep them out of heavy light. There's no food or beverage permitted in this room or in any of our exhibition halls. We don't uh, put anything out unless it's in a case. So they're all exhibited inside cases. Once in, inside the case, the large objects are on what we call stretcher frames. It's a large wooden stretcher frame with muslin stretched over it. And usually we use Velcro to adhere the quilt to the stretcher frame. So by preserving this, we can get an idea of what our ancestors had to live with. It's important.